U.S. Citizenship Naturalization Interview with Applicant Gomez. A mock interview based on actual experience. You need to answer these questions before I'll let you enter the U.S. CIS building. Have you been in close contact with anyone known or suspected to have COVID-19 in the last 14 days? No. Have you been individually directed to self-quarantine or self-isolate by a healthcare provider or public health official within the last 14 days? No, sir. Do you have any symptoms of COVID-19, including cough, fever, or difficulty breathing? No, sir. Please remember that when you enter the building, there should be signs that you'll see on where you need to walk, stand, and sit. Simply follow those directions once you're inside the building. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Okay, now you can enter the building. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Your USCIS appointment letter and ID, please. Here's my appointment letter and permanent resident card. Remove all your things and place them on the belt. Walk through the metal detector. Please pick up your belongings. Thank you. You're welcome. Please take the elevator to the fourth floor, and a USCIS customer service representative will guide you once you arrive there. Thank you. You are welcome. You're welcome. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. How can I assist you? I'm here for my U.S. Citizenship Naturalization Interview. What time is your U.S. Citizenship Naturalization Interview? My appointment is at 2.30 p.m. Please show me your U.S. CIS Interview Appointment Letter and ID. Here's my appointment letter and ID. I'll take your photo and fingerprints. Look at the camera, please. Smile naturally, please. This is better. Put your left index finger on the scanner, followed by the right index finger. Thank you. You're welcome. Here's your number attached to your USCIS appointment letter and ID. We'll inform you once your naturalization interview is ready. Please take a seat in the waiting area. Thank you. You're welcome. Number P9 for Ramonito Morales Gomez. Hello, Ramonito. I'm James Davis. I am the immigration officer who will conduct your naturalization interview today. Hello, officer. It's good that you're here on time. Are you feeling fine or okay today? I feel fine, officer. Thanks for asking. Can you hear me very well? Yes, officer. That's good. Please follow me. Kindly stay where you are right now and remain standing. I'm going to place you under oath prior to the interview. Just put all of your things beside your chair. Please raise your right hand. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Have a seat, please. Thank you, officer. Not a problem. Please wait here for a few minutes.
Thank you for waiting. Do you need to go to the restroom before we start? Yes, sir. Thank you, officer. Okay, first, we talk about your eligibility. May I know why you want to become a U.S. citizen? I really wanted to vote and work hard for my family here in America, where there is freedom and liberty. Please tell me how you received your USCIS green card. I received my green card through marriage. May I see your USCIS green card, passports, and any state-issued ID? My passport and permanent resident card. Sir, I don't have a driver's license. I just ride the bus. I don't see any problem with it. Officer, can I tell you something, and I hope you'll understand. Of course, please tell me. I had a job before I applied for my U.S. citizenship, but I was laid off. My wife also lost her job, and we are receiving a lot of public benefits, like unemployment compensation, childcare, housing assistance and food stamps, and job training. I'm a hard worker as well as my wife, but for the meantime, we needed these public benefits. I just hope that the public charge ruling will not affect my naturalization application for U.S. citizenship. Public benefits may only cause a problem for a naturalization application when an immigrant applicant has obtained those benefits illegally. I really don't see any problem with it. Any more clarifications or questions? No. Thank you, officer. You're welcome. So, are you eligible to become an American citizen? I have been a lawful permanent resident for about five years. Can you tell me your full name on your permanent resident card? My full name is Ramonita Morales Gomez. Have you ever used other names? Yes, sir. My nickname is Ramon. I'm also known as Ramon Gomez. Changing your name today is free. Do you want me to change it? No. Can you say your social security number? 6246842544. If we need to contact you, can you tell me your phone number? 5321248865. What is your date of birth? I was born in July 20th, 1986. May I know your country of citizenship or nationality? Mexico. You speak the English language very well. Thank you, sir. I was enrolled in an American school when I was small until I got older. What is your country of birth? Mexico. Do you have any disabilities or impairments that will prevent you from showing your understanding and knowledge of the English language? No, sir. I'm not blind, but sometimes things can be a little bit blurry to see. We will begin with the civics test. I will give you up to 10 questions and will only stop once you can correctly answer six. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Name one state that borders Canada. Alaska. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. James Madison. Name one state that borders Mexico. California. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4, 1776. Who was the first president? George Washington. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. I want to inform you that you passed the civics test. Let's continue with the reading and writing tests. We will start with the writing test. 
I want you to listen to this sentence that I'll say, and write it down on the digital tablet. The White House is in Washington, D.C. You passed the writing test. Let's proceed to the reading test. Please read the sentence that you can see on the digital tablet. Where is the White House? You passed the reading test. So let's proceed to the next part. Let's discuss the information about your parents. Are your parents American citizens? No, sir. What is your present address? 148 and 11th Street, Seward, Nebraska, 28,434. Are you still living with this very same address? Yes, sir. How long have you lived in this address? For about three years. Where else have you lived? 1436 S. 52nd Street, Lincoln, Nebraska, 58,506. We will proceed to your biographic information. Do you know your ethnicity? I'm Hispanic or Latino. How tall are you? I'm 5 feet and 7 inches tall. Please tell me your weight based on pounds. My weight is 195 pounds. What color are your eyes? The color of my eyes is brown. What's the color of your hair? The color of my hair is dark brown. It's time to talk about your employment and schools attended. So what was your former job? I worked at Taco's Mexican restaurants. Tell me how long have you worked there? For about three years. Did you like your previous work? Yes. Before this job, where else have you worked? I used to work at Panaderia Mexicana. What other things were assigned to you in this workplace? I prepare food items as directed in a sanitary and timely manner. I follow recipes and presentation specifications. Can you tell me how long have you worked at that place? I worked there for about one year only. Prior to this job, have you worked somewhere else? I also used to work as a food delivery person. Please tell me more about it. I deliver packaged foods from restaurants to homes and businesses. Are you presently attending school? Yes, sir. May I know what school course or program are you currently enrolled in? Restaurant management. I hope to finish my online course. Let's continue and talk about your time outside the United States. Can you give me the total days, 24 hours or longer? that you spent outside the U.S. during the last five years? I had spent about 150 days outside the United States for the past five years. So how many trips of 24 hours or longer have you taken outside the U.S. during the last five years? I had 12 trips, sir. So, do you remember the month and year you returned to the U.S. on your last trip? The last trip was the first week of November, where we the Mexican Festival Day of the Dead, or Dia de Muertos. You traveled because of this important event or occasion. Can you tell me more about it? People decorate the graves with flowers. Feasts are prepared and served. Then families come together to remember their loved ones. We will discuss about your marital history. Are you single, married, divorced, or widowed? I'm married. How many times have you been married? 
I married once only. Has your spouse been married before? No, sir. Please tell me your wife's name. Her name is Jessica Garcia Gomez. Is your spouse a U.S. citizen? Yes, she is a U.S. citizen. What's the previous work of your wife? My wife used to work as a bartender in a grill restaurant. What's the name of the former workplace of your wife? The name of her workplace was Jane's Bar and Grill Restaurant. Are you still married to your current wife? Yes, sir. I'm still married to my wife. Did you bring your spouse's passport? Yes, officer. Can you tell me your wife's date of birth? My wife was born in April 18, 1988. Where and how did you meet your wife? I met her at Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Can you tell me more about it? She came to the restaurant where I was also working as the waiter and cook. The restaurant owner was a nice American guy, and he talked about the good food, then introduced me to her. Please show me your marriage certificate. Yes. So, do you have any children? Yes, sir. Your child's name and date of birth. Her name is Jenny Garcia Gomez, born on March 8, 2017. Is your child a U.S. citizen? My daughter is an American citizen. Does your child attend school? Yes, sir. Can I see the original birth certificate of your child? Yes, officer. We will go to part 12, additional information about you. Were you a non-U.S. resident on your tax returns since you received your permanent resident card? No. Were you able to tell anyone that you're an American citizen? No, never. What is to smuggle? To legally and secretly bring something into or out of a state or country. Did you sell or smuggle narcotics or illegal drugs? No, sir. What is fraudulent? To make everyone believe a lie, to gain something. Have you ever given fraudulent information to any officer for immigration benefit? No, I have not. Can you tell me the meaning of the word misrepresentation? Misrepresentation is an untrue statement. Did you make any misrepresentation in order to receive any public benefit in the U.S.? No, never. Did you commit any crime or offense? No, sir. What do you mean by the word detain? Take into confinement. Were you ever arrested, cited, or detained by any officer? No, I have not. What is legally incompetent? Someone who cannot make decisions due to mental problems. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent? No, I have not. Have you ever been deported from the U.S.? No, sir. Have you been involved in not letting someone practice a religion and forcing someone in sexual relations? No, never. Have you ever advocated a violent overthrow of any government? No, never. Have you supported someone entering the U.S. illegally? No, sir. Have you ever used any weapon to hurt any person? No, sir. Did you register to vote in any U.S. election? No, sir. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No, never. Please explain to me the word torture. Torture is to give severe pain on someone as a punishment. 
Were you ever involved in genocide, torture, badly hurting or trying to kill someone? No, sir. Have you been married to someone to avail immigration benefits? No, sir. Have you ever sold or provided any weapon to any person? No, sir. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the U.S.? Yes. Are you willing to support the Constitution and form of government in the United States? Yes, I am. Have you fully understood the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. Oath of allegiance is a sincere promise to be loyal to America. Do you want to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, officer. If the law requires it, are you willing to use weapons on behalf of the U.S.? Yes, I am. What is to perform work of national importance? To do work that's important to the country. If the law requires it, are you willing to do work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes. Are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes, I am. Do you certify under penalty of perjury that you provided complete, true and correct information? Yes, officer. Give me a few minutes to check your documents. Kindly review your application and check if everything is correct. Check the spelling of your name and other information. Please tell me if everything is correct. All the information is correct, officer. Since all the information is correct, you can now sign it. I'm recommending that your naturalization application for U.S. citizenship be approved. After your naturalization interview, you will receive the Form N-652, which the USCIS officer shall give you. This is a notice of examination results, also known as Form N-652. Congratulations, you've passed all the tests and met all the requirements. Okay, I hope to see you at your naturalization oath ceremony 40 minutes from now. Thank you, officer.